In this video, you will learn 11 plus nonverbal reasoning type 8, Nets and Cubes, part 7. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to see which one of these cubes can be made from the net. So this is a nets to cubes example. I've got another video on cubes to nets. So go check that video out. And for this example, we're going to use pod to help us. P O D. P stands for pointing direction. O stands for opposite sides. And D stands for different shapes. Let's start with pointing direction first. In terms of pointing direction, if you have a look at the nets we have right here, and if you have a look at the arrow we have right here, you may notice that this arrow is pointing towards this X shape. So this means if we find an option in which the arrow is not pointing towards this X shape and is pointing somewhere else, then we cross the option off. Let's have a look at A. In A, the arrow is pointing away from the X shape. Therefore, it's pointing in the wrong direction. So as a result, we can cross off A. Let's move to B. In B, the arrow is pointing towards this ribbon shape, which is completely the wrong shape. So as a result, we can also cross off B. Let's move to C. In C, the arrow is pointing towards the X shape, so that's fine. In D, the arrow is once again pointing towards the X shape, so D is also fine. And in E, the arrow is pointing towards the X shape, so E is also fine. So out of the five options we started with, we managed to cross off two, we managed to cross off A and B. Now we're left with C, D and E. Let's put a tick next to pointing direction and let's move to opposite sides. Now let's use opposite sides for C. So the shapes we have at C are an X shape, an arrow and an hexagon. So these are the three shapes we have. Now let's have a look at these three shapes in terms of the net. We have the hexagon, we have the X shape and we have the arrow. Now let's see where these shapes are in terms of the opposite sides. We obviously have the X shape right here and then we have the arrow and finally at the bottom we have the hexagon. We have the X shape and the hexagon on the same color. So therefore, because they are the same color, we can go ahead and cross off C. This is because according to the opposite sides rule, opposite sides can never be next to each other. But over in cube C, you could see that the X and the hexagon, they're next to each other. So therefore, we can go ahead and cross off C. Now let's go to D. In D, the shapes we have at D are an arrow, an X shape, and a square. Let's see where these shapes are in terms of the net. We have the square, X, and the arrow. Now, let's see where these shapes are in terms of opposite sides. We obviously have the square at the top, the X in the middle, and then the arrow towards the right. And as you guys could see, all of these shapes are in different color, so none of them are actually on opposite sides, so we can leave D for now. So let's move to E. In E, we have the same shapes. We have an arrow, we have an X, and we have a square. Now let's see where they are in terms of the net. So we have the square, then we have the arrow, and we have the X. Now let's see where they are in terms of opposite sides. In terms of opposite sides, you can see that we have the square at the top, and then we have the X in the middle, and finally we have the arrow towards the right. And as you guys could see, all three of these shapes are in different color, which means none of them are on opposite sides. So therefore, we can keep E as well. We managed to cross off one option, which was C. Let's put a tick next to opposite sides. And now let's move to different shapes. Now let's have a look at different shapes. Different shapes is basically when you have a different shape in one of the cubes that is not found in the net. So let's start with cube D. In D, we have three shapes. We have an arrow, we have an X, and also you have a square. So these are the three shapes we have. And as you guys could see, all of the three shapes are the same as the one we have in the net. So they're fine. Let's move to E. In E, we will once again have the same three shapes. So we have an arrow, we have an X, and also we have a square. They're also the same. And none of them are different to the net. So they're also fine. So therefore, we can keep D and E. So let's put across next to different shapes. Now, for this example, even after applying pod, so pointing direction, 
opposite sides and different shapes, we're still left with D and E. When you have some options left, even after applying pod, what you do is you apply your common sense. If you have a look at the net, you can see that this arrow is towards the right of this X. But if you have a look at E, the arrow is towards the left of the X, since it's a wrong position. Since it's at the wrong position, therefore we can cross off E. So that means our answer to this question is D. Now let's check if D is right by folding the net. And as you guys could see, D is right. This is the aid for constructing the cube to gain a better understanding of how the net folds in a far more effective way. So the link's in the description below and in the comments section. So go check that out. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.